This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Nitro's Me. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a very minimalistic looking glass morphism effect inside of After Effects. Now the method and technique that we will learn today is going to be super helpful if you are into UI design and if you like to create this kind of glass morphism look in After Effects. And um, you know, if you want to create a nice UI design and animate it in After Effects, then this video is going to be super helpful to you. So make sure you watch it throughout the end. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section below. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, and let's make this 10 seconds long. And I'm going to call this comp render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Call this BG for background. And for the color, I'm going to go with a kind of off-whitish blue, something like that. Hit OK. Then I'm going to create the glass card that you saw. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and set the fill to white. Hit OK and let's create a card like so. All right, let's align this into the center for the opacity. I'm going to select this hit T and bring that down to 45%. And let's call this box. All right, I'm going to also add some corner roundness. So I'm going to go into rectangle one and rectangle path one and into the roundness. I'm going to increase this a bit just to make it look a bit more interesting and modern. All right, now let's go ahead and create those background gradient shapes that you saw. Creating those shapes is pretty simple and easy. I'm going to go and select a nice purple color and let's create a shape like this. Place this below the box that we have or the card that we have. I'm going to call this C underscore O one for circle underscore O one. And we can always hit U two times to reveal the properties and increase the size and adjust the shape accordingly. Let's duplicate it. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's pull this one right over here. Hit U again two times. Bring this down like so. And let's change the color to a nice dark pink. You can of course go with whichever color that you like. Let's duplicate this one more time. Pull this below. And I'm going to make this a nice blue color. And let's increase the size a little bit more. And finally, one last one. So I'll place this one right here and make this a nice greenish tone. I'm going to pull this, put this at the back because I don't want that much of a green. So now it's looking quite weird at the moment. But now let's create a new adjustment layer called this blur. And then go into fix and preset and use a fast blur. So now I can turn on repeat edge pixels and set the blur radius to around 150. Now it looks quite weird, right? So now let's pull the box on the top of the adjustment layer and we get this really nice effect. Now, depending on the type of look you want, you can adjust the blur amount. I like to go with somewhere around um, 130 or 150 is a sweet spot and you can always adjust the shapes that we made so I can always tweak them you know make them look cooler adjust this and you can even use just one or two shapes if you want so if I want to go with just a single shape I can use that as well and get this really nice look so for now let's turn them on and now I can add on my text that I want to place it on my card so I'm going to type in glass morphism. You can use whichever font that you like. I'm going to go with Arial. Regular. Looks good. And hit control D and you can add on your website. So I'm going to type in www.dopemotions.com. 
there we go so our card is ready now you, you can add as many elements as you want as you want but still we want to add a little bit of highlight at the edges of the card so to do that i'm going to select the box hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's set the fill to none and let's increase the stroke so i can keep it very minimal at around three pixels and as you can see we get this really nice highlight at the edges or the corners of the card and now it's looking much more classic now we can go ahead and animate the circles if you want to now before i proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and tell you about today's sponsor nitros me nitros me is a power elite video hype author and he has made this transition library for davinci resolve this pack comes with over 1500 plus all-in-one transitions titles callouts, LUTs, sound effects, and so much more. This is the only all-in-one library package for DaVinci Resolve on Envato Market and it comes with the best quality of items with unique transitions. This pack will help you create your own unique videos on a professional level. For more information, check out the link in the description below. So I'll go to around one second. Let's select the color shapes. Hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe go back and set this to zero select the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them go into graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then i'm going to select the point and drag the handle to the left and this one as well to the left so we get this really nice animation now i'm going to offset this a little bit so we can just move this a few frames forward like so and now we get this really nice animation as you can see pretty cool now let's go ahead and animate the box or, or the glass card that we have so i'm going to select this hit s create a keyframe go back set this to zero and also i'm going to go right over here and parent the box too that is the line on the edges so i'm going to call this line and parent this to the box as well let's select the keyframe set f9 go into the graph editor and this time i'm going to create a peak into the center so that we can achieve a much more interesting animation so now we have this really nice animation as you can see maybe i'll increase the time duration a bit pretty nice and finally i will animate the text so i'm going to select both the text hit p create a keyframe hit t and create a keyframe on the opacity hit u so we can see all the keyframes go to around one second set the opacity to zero and this one i'm going to pull this down just a little bit and this one up a bit then select the keyframes f9 go into graph editor and bring them to the left so we have this nice text animation and all in all we have our elegant glass morphism animated glass morphism effect ready it's pretty simple looks very cool and you can use this technique in a number of different ways you can you know even add single shapes if you want to so let's say for experiment i will close everything i'll select just this one shape and let's change this color to maybe something like a nice yellowish orange give it a nice fresh look and i can hit u to reveal the size i can increase the size and place it at this point like so i can bring down the opacity of this so you know something like that hit ctrl d and place one right here maybe change the color to something like an orange or reddish and if i move this one just like so we get a very nice look and feel so you can use this a technique in a number of different ways and achieve a very nice and cool looking glass morphism effect inside of after effects so that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you let me know in the comment section below also if you're watching my video for the very first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out